God dag! Velkommen igen til Shureine Technisk School! Or should I say welcome to the Shureine Drawing School? Where, again, I've gone all Norwegian because I'm showing you how to draw Viking Vic, who comes from my series of books called Viking Vic. There he is. And, uh, and I'm doing this again for Lakeside Primary School in Cheltenham, who uh, came to see me at the Cheltenham Festival last year. And they're doing a Viking project and they want to know how to draw Viking Vic. And uh, let's stop talking about it. Let's just get on and do it so to draw Viking Vic we're gonna need a pencil and a pen and an eraser and we'll start with a pencil and uh, quite a few people have asked me to draw characters how do you draw human kind of characters well this this will kind of help a little bit I hope um, and this is uh, Viking Vic so he's, he's a boy and that's not a very good circle at all. <laughs> okay, so you want a, a circle for his head, and underneath you want a body, which is going to be about the same width, um, a kind of a box that is about the same width as his head. And his belt will go kind of across there. And as it's a tunic, it will come in and then out again, like that. So this is kind of the skirt of the tunic. Then he's going to want his legs coming out. Uh, he's going to be holding a sword up high and then he'll have a shield as well and that's kind of your basic simple plan uh, and if you think of this as, as kind of his hips and the legs coming out it, it, it might help you do other characters now with Viking Vic uh, I have a line going right across the middle and then two little bits that join up to the line on the outside of the circle which are his ears and then just up here these are the bits that kind of really identify him um, and there's a kind of <laughs> two bits of hair that sort of flop over he's got this kind of floppy fringe and from the ear then you want to sort of zigzag up along the outside line then draw a point just about one o'clock if that's kind of 12 o'clock there I'm still on the camera here if that's kind of 12 o'clock there one o'clock then that's going to be his parting and then you can just kind of zigzag around like that and and there that'll be his hair and I know Vikings are supposed to have helmets with horns on but every school boy will tell you they didn't have horns <laughs> and he's a boy and he wouldn't have had a helmet so don't he's just got kind of messy hair so there we go uh, his eyes are kind of two circles like that and a nose and a mouth let's give him kind of serious eyebrows okay uh, then he's gonna want a neck now if you bring a line around from behind the neck like that and then just inside these two kind of S-shaped kind of things and that gives you the, the, the collar you can maybe bring that around a bit more put the shield in there like that uh, his arm, now that, that's the, the cuff um, that's his thumb okay and then mm, 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 there's his fingers holding the hilt of the sword and there's the hilt of the sword then you've got the cross piece and then the sword there and it's a kind of wooden sword it's a toy really and we can have a viking ship there on his t-shirt tunic um, and then with his legs um, I let's have him standing on the ground there and draw his boots first uh, which will be like that, and two triangles on either side, and then his feet will kind of fit into them. Okay, so we're ready to draw him in. And I don't know, I will start with that bit there, like that, and draw those little bits and go all the way around like that. And then you can do the eyes, and the eyes, I just do a kind of a like a fat letter C, really leaving a little bit of white um, to make it look shiny and his eyebrows and then from here we go and then from one o'clock we go and some little kind of V shapes there and a, for the nose and a little smile and let's put that there that's okay and let's draw the shield in so we want a circle put another circle on the inside as a kind of a, a 
band and a circle right in the middle and then it has these kind of bits of wrought iron strapping on the front like that. This was his dad's shield that he found in the caves which are the entrance post, entrance to the, the land of the dwarves. I think that was it, the dwarves, that's right, yeah. That's in the book called The Secret Shield, right? And he has a, a belt buckle there. And then his tunic comes up there and you can see this uh, Viking ship design on his tunic. And there's the rest of the tunic. Now, well, watch closely with the arm, okay? Because hands are really, really difficult. Uh, there's his thumb, there's his fingers coming over the hilt of the sword, right? And the, the hilt and the cross piece there are held on with a bit of string or leather or something and this is just a wooden sword, it's just a toy sword, okay. Now I would do the boots first, like that. And there we go. And then you kind of put the feet into the boots. And he's standing on a rock. Ta da! Right, now we've done that, we can rub out all that pencil. And these rotating ticky pens there made a nice um, pigment ink which dries quite quickly. So you always want to make sure your ink is dry. I always say this before you. Erase the pencil lines because otherwise you're going to get a nasty smear. And being pigment ink, it's kind of nice to do watercolour. Somebody said to me the other day, I love the way you say watercolour in your British accent. I suppose in American you hear watercolour or something, I don't know. So I call it watercolour. Um, and we can put a bit of shading in there, maybe a bit of shading in under there. Um, and I'll shade in his hair like that. Very simple. Very simple shading like that, and we could put his shade his boots. How are we doing for time? See, oh, that's good. Uh, let's have a bit of a scene in the background in that case. Okay, let's go like that. And uh, so it wants to go that way, doesn't it? Yeah, it wants to go that way. And we'll have a have a, a Viking ship sailing away in the background like that and I've done a video on how to draw a Viking ship as well so go and find that and um, that will show you how to draw a Viking ship but I'm just kind of doing this one very very quickly and it'll be going off into the distance and I suppose we ought to have some kind of mountains around the fjord like that. And I think that will probably do it. We'll have a few seagulls in the background just to give it a kind of seaside, seaside, fjord side view. And uh, rub that pencil out again. And there we have Viking Vic. So uh, I hope you enjoyed. I shall just move that down. Oh, I'm going to just move that down a little bit there. That's better. And uh, I hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, keep coming back to the Shoe Rainer Drawing School, or should I say, the Shoe Rainer Technic School. And uh, you'll find me on the Shoe Rainer Drawing Channel on YouTube and www-shoe-tube. No, www.shoe-tube.com, which is my own website where you can see all my videos uh, on schools and library things like that and get through all their filters. So, uh, so uh, keep coming back. Keep drawing, practice, 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 <laughs> and I'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye.